you know, we have in this campaign, we had, uh, you know, you get a lot of speeches. Uh, you get, in, in this election, a few less questions from the audience than we like to see, but we've had that intimate conversation with you all for a number of years. Uh, but a lot, of, a lot of campaigning is theater, frankly, and you all know that. You see it certainly on television commercials. It's, you know, they're all planned. Ours, too. But very rarely, maybe once every 10 elections, do you get a moment where you get a real view of what these candidates would be like as presidents. Because it has to happen almost by accident. In this case, we had a sort of horrible accident. And that was the assassination of Prime Minister Bhutto last week. And in that moment, we got a glimpse. The window opened a little bit, or the curtain pulled back, whatever your metaphor is. And we got to see, for a moment, what each of these candidates would be like as president. And what did we see? Republicans and Democrats. We saw every candidate, save one, run for the microphone. One, only one candidate, went to the telephone, called Musharraf, and tried to talk to him about the need for democracy, the need for calm, the need for a transparent investigation. One candidate acted like a president in that moment. You don't get that glimpse much. I want you to hold on to that, to understand how important that pulling back that curtain was in that moment for you to see which ones are politicians and which ones are leaders.